Hello and welcome to mymanymaths.co.uk video tutorial. And today we're going to be adding three and four digit numbers. And first of all, on to the first question, which is 281. And we're going to add that to 116. So the first thing we need to look at are the different columns. So we have our units here, we have our tens in black, and finally we have our hundreds in red. And what we can do is we can look partition these numbers, so split it down into the different columns and the different values and the place value. And first of all, if we look at the hundreds column and look at our number closely, we have 200 here, we have a 100 underneath, then if we look at our tens column, there's an 80 and there's a 10. And then finally, if we look at the units, we have a single unit and then six units. And when we come to add them up, so one unit adds six units. That's the same as saying one apple adds six apples. It's going to give us a total of seven apples. And we can do this, we can look at it. Same underneath here, so that's seven apples. Then we're going to look at the tens. We've got eight plus one or 80 plus 10. Okay, giving us 90 in the tens column. And then finally, we can do the 200 add 100, which is 300. And the same up here. So we have an answer of 300 and 97. And next one to question two. This time we have 344. And we're going to add that to 235. So if we break it down once more, first of all, here we have 300. I'm going to add that to 200. And then looking at the tens column, we have 40 added to 30. And then four units add five units. And then we add them together. So first, if we look at across at this units column here. We have four units add five units, which gives us a total of nine. Then we have the four tens add the three tens, so that's 40 add 30, which gives us 70. The seven goes in the tens column to represent the same thing. And then finally, we have three hundreds add two hundreds, to give us a total of 500. So when we look at our final number, we have 579 as our final answer. And next one to question three, and this time we have an extra column. We have the thousands column, so it's a four digit number added to another four <laughs> digit number. So the question is asking, what is 6,000? 352, and we're going to add that to 2,326. So the same as before, we have our units, we have our tens, hundreds, and the extra column this time are our thousands. So let's have a little look. We have 6,000 added to 2,000 and 300 added to 300, 50 added to 20, and then two units added to six units. 
and we can add those together. So first of all, we're going to look at our units here. So that's two units add six units, giving us a total of eight. So then if we have two sweets, add six sweets, gives us a total of eight. Onto the tens, we have five tens add two tens, which is 50 add 20. So that's 70 or seven. Sorry, I forgot to put the units in here. Then the hundreds, we got three hundreds add three hundreds, which is three hundred add three hundred, giving us a total of six hundred. Six in the hundreds column. And finally, for the thousands column, we have six thousand add two thousand, giving us eight thousand. For a final answer of eight thousand, six hundred and seventy. Eight. And the one thing I hope you've noticed as we complete these calculations is everything is kept in its correct column all the way down and it keeps things neat, tidy and you are significantly reducing your chances of making an error in your calculations. And finally we're on to question four and again this is a four digit number add to a four digit number, so thousands, hundreds, tens, and units. So it's 8,126. I'm going to add that to 1,722. Now, it's breaking it down. So, first of all, we have six units and two units. Then we have tens column, 20 add 20. Then 100 add 700. And finally, 8,000. Add it to 1,000. Okay, so if we look at our units first, up here, we add our six units and our two units to give us eight units. Then we have two tens add two tens, which is 20 add 20, which gives us 40. Then 100 add 700, so that's 100 add 700 gives us 800. And finally, in our thousands column, was 8,000 add 1,000 to give us 9,000. For a final answer of 9,840. Eight. Okay, that's everything for today. Thank you very much for listening, and I will speak to you again soon. Take care.